Second round highlights Friday at TPC Twin Cities for the 3M Open. Reigning FedEx Cup champ Dustin Johnson hit a tee shot in the water at 18. Needed to scramble to try to find a way to make a birdie and play the weekend. 56 feet, 8 inches. It needs to go in. Down the hill, it hits, and that's rolling out towards the left, and that's going to miss. It'll be inside of 10 feet for par for Dustin Johnson, but it's going to be a miss, and Dustin Johnson is going to miss the weekend here in Minnesota. Well, and that came after a great start. Uh, three early birdies through eight holes for DJ Kevin. He makes a couple of bogeys on the par fives on the back nine and just lost it coming in. Earl on the day, he wasn't able to make up for eight missed fairways off the tee and eight missed greens. That equals the weekend off for Dustin Johnson. Perfect start in the afternoon to round two for one of the first-round co-leaders, Ricky Fowler. Great shot for Ricky. Leaves him inside just about eight feet away. Ball may try to work just slightly to the left. Fowler back and through with the putter. Ball away with pace up to the cup, and he walked it right in. Great start for Ricky Fowler. The birdie here at the first takes him to eight under par. And that was the only one he would make Mark Carnival the entire day. It was a struggle for Ricky Fowler after that. It was, particularly on the back nine. He made that bogey at nine, and then the back nine was was just tough. Uh, you know, a couple bogeys in the last four or five holes and just kept hitting it left. That's the problem that he's had the last couple of years. Hit some left, but the good thing for Ricky, he's got 36 holes to try to correct it. One never knows, but certainly will play the weekend. Birdies were out there for some in the afternoon. The leader in strokes game putting on the PGA Tour, Louis Oosthuizen, showed the way to get it done. 50-footer. From the front right of the green, putt on the way, turning right to left, tracking on a good line, ball needs to stretch, has a chance, he made it! Sneaks in the right side, misses a 12-footer at one, but makes a 50-footer at three, and the chance of Louis for birdies, four under. It's putts like that that have made him the strokes gain putting leader this year. Today, over 150 feet in putts. He shot 68 yesterday, 68 today. He's at six under par heading into Saturday. Yeah, it was tough to keep rounds going and really to close them off, especially on the front nine, but Adam Hadwin found a way to get it done coming in. 20 feet away for Birdie for Hadwin. Strikes the golf ball. Out to the left, coming back to the right to the cup, and it falls right in the middle. Broke to the right and dove into the hole. Hadwin is fifth birdie of the day, and that takes him to nine under. Ten feet for ten under. Adam Hadwin settles in over it. One last look at the cup. Strikes the golf ball. Up to the hole, turning a little bit right. He started to walk towards the hole as if he made it. Then he hesitated. It continued to roll, and it went right in the middle. It dropped. Just a little break at the end of the right. Birdie for Hadwin at six. Ten under par. Adam Hadwin uh, took the lead with that birdie with three hard holes coming in on that nine, seven, eight, nine. He made three straight pars to finish at 10 under par heading into the weekend. Well, and so many players on Friday were unable to finish off rounds either on the front nine or the back nine, and Adam Hadwin did on the tougher stretch coming in on the front, and that's a big reason why he was able to jump to 10 under par. Tom Wormy? Especially that par four ninth to close out the second round for Hadwin. It was playing 5'11 today early. He hit it on the green 72 feet away and was able to two putt that. Pretty good with the driver off the tee as well. 10 of 14 fairways hit for Hadwin. Six birdies, no bogeys. That's a 10 under par total as he tries to chase down his second win on the PGA Tour. Could be a big weekend for Adam Hadwin. Yes, so much risk reward on this golf course. Oh, TPC Twin Cities. So shaping up to be a fun weekend outside. Minneapolis. You can catch our third round coverage from TPC Twin Cities beginning Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern on Sirius XM PGA Tour Radio. Remember, you can always listen free on a computer or mobile device at PGATour.com slash live audio or via the tour's official iPhone, iPad, and Android apps.